Hey babes, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because I'm going to be reviewing the Lunar Beauty Facelift Palette. Sorry it took me so long to get this up. I'm just super busy with my birthday and organizing and then all my other videos and I was just like, I need to get this up. So before we get into the video guys, I do want to announce my Huda Beauty giveaway. The winner is Tammy Johnson. Go ahead and reach out to me via one of my social medias or if I don't hear from you within 24 hours, I will reach out to you. If I don't hear back within 48 hours, then I will go have to move on to the next person. But I loved all of the support on my Huda Beauty mystery bag unboxing. So just make sure you guys stick around. Make sure that bell notification is on. I do a lot of giveaways here just to give back to you guys for all the support and all of the love that you share to me. So without further ado, we're going to get into the video all right so this is what i get when i open it oh they're gorgeous they're gorgeous i love this card like this is stunning this is actually a beautiful photo this is really nice too anyways so this is the life's a drag facelift palette if you are not aware lunar beauty had launched their very first palette which was life's a drag it had 14 shadows in it i believe and he decided to basically revamp it and relaunch it so this one has 21 shades in it and it has the 14 original rich and iconic shades from life's a drag color palette plus seven new shades for a stuntin 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 i don't know extended selection of neutral and bright colors butter soft and effortless blending y'all we stand so it is a 48 dollar palette it says in honor of pride month for the month of june a percentage of life's a drag facelift sales will be donated to the human rights campaign in support of equality for the lgbtq plus community i did not buy the original palette at that time when it launched i just didn't have the money to get it honestly if I'm being honest I just didn't so I just put that one off because it wasn't one of my favorite and I kind of forgot about it <laughs> being completely transparent so when he relaunched it and kind of revamped it I was just like I feel like this is my this is my time this is the universe telling me I need to buy this palette I also bought two of the beauty sponges he just came out with the liquid and powder multi-purpose beauty sponge and it's black and then the liquid and powder multi beauty sponge and this one is like a pinky beige I think they're two different shapes so we'll get into that when we get to the face but I think we're gonna start with eyes so I'm so excited about this one thing I will say about Manny's packaging or Lunar Beauty's packaging if you will it is always phenomenal like it just oh it's always so cute he always takes his time and really puts in effort to his brand and that to me it shows it 100 shows and i love that he is one of my favorite makeup brands guys uh, look at the this the detail this is lifted too by the way like it's raised Let's take a peek inside oh my god guys look at this palette oh my god she's so beautiful so on this side we have all the neutrals you can think of every transition shade every blending shade eyebrow shade darkening shade it's there the white shade in the center you have three shimmers they are the only shimmers and then over here you have pastel colors and just pops of color some neon pink if you need it it's here so excited i will pop a photo right here of what the original life said dry palette looks like because i don't have it so here it is Oh, I did some looking around on the internet and I asked you guys on my community page like who did you want to see like looks created by or whatever and I was gonna do a video like that but then I decided not to however this look that I have found right here is from the queen Bailey Sarian I'm going to try to recreate something very similar to this I love the colors and the look and I feel like I could definitely achieve it with this palette I don't really know what palette she used I just like the look and I've been watching her a lot so I was like mm, you yes yes so I'm going to go ahead and try to recreate that look. All right. So the first shade I'm going to go into is going to be shady, which is this black color right here. And I'm going to place that on the outer corner right here. Oh my God. And I'm just packing that in right now. I'm not blending that. And I'm going to bring it just here slightly on the outer corner and then up just a little bit. This is a very pigmented black. Okay. So I'm going to bring it over. That looks suspicious <laughs> guys 
I'm, I'm trying to trust the process here. <laughs> this is not working out for me. So first I'm gonna go in with trade and I'm gonna add that color right to the edge of that black and just stamp that as well. Still not 100% blending. Said I was gonna do crazy colors. I just don't have all the space that Bailey has. Like she just has so much space. All right, and I am slightly blending just to kind of get that black line to just smooth out just a little bit. Ooh, this is gonna be bold. This is probably the one of the boldest looks I've ever done. I love it. So I'm going in with Snatched and I'm gonna kind of like blend that color. I'm just going in with just a little bit to give it more of a red vibe, but I am definitely, it is gonna be a process to blend all this. I think what happened <laughs> was it winded up being way more pigmented than I expected it to be. So I'm gonna go in with Snatched, a little bit more Snatched, and kind of get this to be a little more red. Cause this is, gosh, trust the process, Jamie. It don't look good. <laughs> Y'all can just unsubscribe now because <laughs> I would not want to follow me either if I looked like this. Okay, so I'm going to clean up my lids where I'm placing another color and I'm going to kind of clean up the edges here and then I'll be right back. All right, so we have cleaned it up <laughs> um, and I put on the P. Louise Rumor 4. I use this like all of the time. This is the base I use all of the time. I really love it. I do like the Maria one, but this one for like super pigmented or super bright colors is the one I go to. Now couple of things about this look. Uh, I will say I had a little bit more trouble, I feel like, than she does doing this look because her eyes are a little bit more big, like her eyebrow to lid ratio, where I have me little space. So I had to tweak it a little bit so it doesn't look exactly like it. And I made mine go up where hers is round. Whenever I do round at the end because of my hooded eyes, it makes my eyes look much smaller. So when I kind of make them look long, it makes them look a little bit bigger. So I had to go over my crease and she brought hers, her black like out straight. I could not do that. It looked 100% uh, ridiculous. So I had to curve mine down. So just in case y'all were wondering what took six hours. I'm just kidding. It only took 45 minutes. <laughs> So I'm going to be going into Kiki and I'm going to be placing that right over the P. Louise that I just put down. And I'm so excited because this color has been screaming my name. This looks exactly like the colors she used. I'll have to see what palette she used. Oh my god, I love that. That is like my favorite color in this palette so far obsessed and I'm not getting a lot of fallout which is really really nice because usually with super like pressed pigments and bright pigmented shadows you tend you tend to get a little bit of fallout but I love this All right, so now I'm gonna go lightly back into shady which is the black color but I'm also gonna go into a little bit of mug which is a chocolate brown and kind of tap them together to really bring out the corner of this blue and just blend it in there so there's no harsh lines this looks so good i'm fucking here for this 110 percent all right so i'm going to now that i have my primer on go into these sponges this is how they come by the way very cute they they are latex free it does say that they're ten dollars a piece so this one is more flat like this. This reminds me of the Real Technique sponge, the big orange one. And then this one kind of reminds me of the Huda one, but it's a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna go wet these and I will show you how big they get. Okay, so they get pretty big. They get a decent size. I will say they kind of remind me of the feeling of the Morphe sponges, the red ones that they came out with. And I never been a fan of them. I'm gonna do my foundation with this one and my concealer with this one. I They're made by the same material so I don't think it's gonna matter but I just figured I would test both of them. I just it has like that it is very bouncy. It is soft but it has that stiffness to it so I'm hoping 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 it's not like the Morphe one. That one is so stiff it feels like I'm just beating myself in the face. So today I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Dewy. This is the one thing I cannot stand about this foundation. So this foundation's like six bucks, five or six dollars, and it's amazing. Like truly it is. <laughs> but I can't stand that I have to do it like that. I'm not 
okay okay she is soft it reminds me not so much of the beauty blender but more like the huda beauty one it really does like the texture of it it's very soft i don't feel like it's not as silicone -y feeling as the morphe sponge i hate that sponge truly i hate that sponge i don't think that it's absorbing a lot of product which is really nice too so now i'm going in with the kylie cosmetics concealer in the shade ivory we're gonna blend it with the smaller one the pink one and see how it goes oh i like and don't like this so it fits perfectly right on the edge where i need it to be but i for some reason prefer to use the round side whenever i'm like blending out whether it be foundation especially concealer when it's such like a specific place that you put it I just prefer the round edge but it definitely fit like nicely under my eye so that was nice and they're only 10 bucks like that's really really inexpensive because who does I believe are 18 and they're they're nice like they're one of my favorite but I think I like this one better and I'm going in with hourglass veil setting powder and the reason I'm setting like crazy today because usually I do not set this much is because she goes in with this blue color under her eye so I really want to make sure I am set and ready to go so I'm just gonna let that sit there so it's nice and dry today I am using Fenty bronzer in private island such a beautiful color Hi, Matt. we're gonna go into blush and I am using the moon prism blush palette of course and I think today I'm gonna go in with I always go in with Twilight. I think today I'm gonna go in with Spacey. It's literally my favorite, 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 favorite blush palette ever. Now, I do have Jaclyn Hill's blush palette coming in the mail, so we'll see. She was talking up her blushes and I am a fan of blush. So we'll see, we'll see because Manny, has had my heart with blushes since he came out with this one, so. All right, and then the last thing for the face is highlighter. We are going in with the Greek Goddess palette, and I am going to go into Medusa. Oh, I have to turn it down a little bit. I want a little highlighter crazy. So today for my lips, I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner Lip Liner in Harmony, and then Manny's daydream liquid lip so i've never used these two together so hopefully they look good together i think they look good together i need to shave my mustache Ugh. but lunar beauty literally hands down is one of my favorite formulas because it's just oh that actually looks really good together it's like perfect holy shit they're so good they're not too drying they're so comfortable they're so pigmented and they wear for so long. Like I will say, when he first came out with a line, I was just like, oh, another influencer line, great. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but that's just how it was. Of all of the ones I've tried, Jacqueline's, Laura Lee's, anyone you can think of that I've tried, Nikita's, his stuff is by far my absolute fucking favorite. I think the only thing I didn't get is the Moonspell collection, but they're, his liquid lipsticks are my favorite. His highlighters are beautiful. I didn't care for the individual ones as much. That palette, stunning. The blush is stunning. The eyeshadows, his eyeshadow palettes are always fucking amazing. Like they're so blendable, they're so pretty. Ugh. And I also don't find that he is like pushing, you know, products out every fucking two months. So I love that. We love that. So I'm going to go in and kind of mix Shady and Trade right here together lightly and then just line the waterline up until about here. Okay. And then once I have it placed, I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm going to just give it a good blend. So then what she does is she takes that blue, the Kiki color, and she really goes down here and brings it down. And I feel like this is definitely going to open my eye. Ooh, yeah. I love this, but I'm going to change it just a little bit. So I really, really, really want to dig into these shimmers. I'm going to go into Full Fantasy right here and put that all over the Kiki color. So this is going to be a little bit different than hers. And I'm going to go with my finger because he says it's like a topper. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It truly does just give that glistening. It looks wet. It's so good. 
<gasps> all right and i will be going in with a lunar beauty lashes today in the style stella so i didn't want to do too crazy of lashes because i don't want to take from this look like i feel like it would really take from it so i decided to go with stella because they are the more smaller less floofy ones so i'm gonna put that on and then we'll be right back <laughs> Oh, I love this. All right, guys. So here is the final look. The recreation from Miss Beautiful and Lovely and Funny, Bailey Sarian. I hope you guys like how this look turned out. It is different. It doesn't look exactly like hers. I tweaked it a little bit. But I fucking love it. It turned out so good. Oh my. I just can't. I need to calm down. I definitely think this is a must have if you do not have life's a drag palette now you do get seven more colors you do get those shimmers right here this <laughs> is my favorite this is the oh my god just put my nail in it this is the full fantasy that shimmer listen there's not a shimmer on earth t l topper whatever you want to call this that I would put over that one like it's absolutely stunning now the other two are not the same formula I will go ahead and just give you a quick swatch of those but the full fantasy one it just hits different like it doesn't look much like much on here but what I'm telling you oh my this palette turned out beautiful I'm glad that I waited to get this version of it because I feel like this version of it is just spectacular far more superior it's a beautiful palette there are so many different things you could do with this palette the formula of the palette it's buttery it's blendable I did not have any issues with a lot of fallout I just th this palette and then again proceeds of this go to a really really good cause so I literally cannot say one negative thing about this palette it was a decent a decent palette price I mean what was it $48 you're getting 21 shadows you get a full mirror like it's just it's magnetic like this is heavy watch oh oh my god it literally hands down my favorite palette of 2021 thus far hands down these two I would definitely say if you need some new new beauty sponges these are gonna be really really nice to get they were 10 bucks a piece which is not very expensive at all uh Huda Beauties are 18 beauty blenders are 20 so for one beauty blender I just got two of these so I will be ordering more of these to stock up because I love these so much they're so soft I did not think they were gonna be soft I'm not gonna lie I was definitely skeptical but they turned out to be really nice and they were really inexpensive so I am here for it I hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you hit the bell notifications to be notified when I upload and I do upload three new beauty videos every single week and again congratulations to Tammy Johnson you are the Huda Beauty Mystery Giveaway winner and I will see you guys on the next one bye